200 years ago, a massive volcanic eruption in Indonesia shook the world. Ash from Mount Tambora reached as high as the stratosphere. The result? Sunlight reflected back to space. An entire year without summer on Earth. The average global temperature dropped 3 degrees Celsius. A temporary change, but the event was nevertheless significant. Some scientists are looking to mimic what happened in 1816 to counter global warming, a controversial concept called solar geoengineering. And the methods vary. One sounds straight out of science fiction, cooling the Earth by sending colossal reflective mirrors to space. Even if that would be technically feasible, maintenance would be a nightmare. Ships could be used to spray salt into clouds above the sea, making them appear larger and brighter. And scientists are trialing this in China to cool the area near the Great Barrier Reef and prevent coral bleaching. Another method, microbubbles. Large parts of the ocean will be covered with artificial foam. That could, in theory, reflect 10 times more sunlight than dark water surfaces. The impact on marine ecosystems, though, is still unclear. A more practical solution is simply splashing a coat of white or reflective paint on houses, roofs, and roads so they absorb much less sunlight. It's being used or tested in cities such as Tokyo, Melbourne, and Los Angeles. Now, one of the most debated solar geoengineering concepts takes us back to that Indonesian volcano. Now, some scientists are looking at aerosol injection, essentially mimicking an eruption by injecting sulfur particles directly into the stratosphere. Researchers from Harvard University have proposed using a fleet of planes and high-altitude balloons, envisioning 60,000 flights a year, spraying hundreds of thousands of tons of sulfur dioxide. The world could cool by 0.3 degrees Celsius in about 15 years. So at this point in time, roughly half a century to achieve a one degree reduction. The cost, an estimated 10 to $30 billion a year, perhaps money well spent when you consider that one study has said rising temperatures can reduce global GDP by as much as $23 trillion by 2050. The few climate issues are as polarizing as solar geoengineering. It's another form of human activity altering our climate. The impact on atmospheric chemistry and circulation is not well understood. So what if this tool to fight climate change actually makes things worse? Critics say the aerosol injection method presents a moral hazard and runs the risk of governments falling behind in their emission reduction targets. Then there are regional and global issues, given the environment doesn't adhere to borders. Study led by Harvard scientists and backed by billionaire Bill Gates has sought to carry out small-scale experiments in the atmosphere but has yet to receive the green light to proceed. The project, dubbed SCOPEX, would have taken flight in June, but it's been put on hold until at least next year because of outcry from environmentalists. As some argue that solar geoengineering is but a stopgap measure, and that it's a band-aid solution and takes the focus off drastically slashing greenhouse gas emissions. But given the worsening climate crisis the Earth is facing, supporters say it could be an important tool that could help defuse a ticking time bomb.